Uh, so I'm reading from, I can't show you this, I'm reading from Of Flying Cars and the Declining Rate of Profit, which is an, an amazing article by David Grubber, which asks a very serious question about why we don't have flying cars yet. So I'm just taking the last sentence. Uh, uh, Gene, Gene, um, <coughs> yeah. on, a, on a score of 1 to 10, how amazing is it? I would put this at a 9. I don't agree with everything he says, but it's incredible. Okay. Uh, yep. Continue. Read it. Everyone read it. Uh, Granted, there are people who take the position on both ends of the political spectrum. As an anthropologist and anarchist, I encounter anti-civilizational types who insist not only that the current industrial technology leads only to capitalist-style oppression, but that this must necessarily be true of any other future technology as well, and therefore that human liberation can be achieved only by returning to the Stone Age. Gene, uh, maybe 15% slower, please. Thank you. <laughs> Most of us are not technological determinists. But claims of the inevitability of capitalism have led to no, Gene, a... Gene. I'm going slower. No, okay. that's, that's too slow. That was 35% slower. That was slower. 35. 15, just 15% 15 slower. Thank but you. claims of the inevitability of capitalism have, been, have to be based... My whole flow's gone. Have to be based on a kind of technological determinism. And for that very reason, the aim of neoliberal capitalism is to create a world within which no one believes that any other economic system could work. And then it needs to suppress not just any idea of an inevitable, redemptive future, but any radically different technology logical future. Yet there's a contradiction. Defenders of capitalism cannot mean to convince us that technological change I'm going to have to just pause you just a little bit. Just a bit slower? Just a little touch slower. Go. Since that would mean capitalism is not progressive. No, that means to convince us that the technological progress is indeed continuing, that we do live in a world of wonders, that but that those wonders take the form of modest improvements. This is in brackets. The latest iPhone. Rumors of inventions about what happens. Again in brackets. I hear Gee, you I'm, really, I'm not trying to be a pain. For you. I'm not trying to ruin you your flow here. <laughs> I, I may be ruining your flow, but, but you really have to... Slow down. Slow, just slow down, because I want to hear what you've got to say. Okay? Okay, so this is my bracket sentence. Am I starting? Yeah, but that, again, is too fast. You've got to okay. slow down. I hear they are going to have flying cars soon. <laughs> Close the bracket. Complex ways of juggling information and imagery and still more complex platforms for filling out of forms. I do not mean to suggest that neoliberal capitalism or any other systems can be successful in this regard. First, there is the problem of trying to convince the world you are leading the way in technological progress when you are holding it back. The United States, with its decaying infrastructure, paralysis on the face of global warming, and the symbolically devastating abandonment of its manned space program just as China accelerates its own, is doing a particularly bad public relations job. Second, is this okay, Gavin? Second, the pace of change... Absolutely perfect, Great, Gene. Um, Catherine, 